So this is the new Nissan Micra and it's nothing like any of the older generation Micras as you can see here. Would you rather be preferred to see this one or this one? This one kind of looks like a hippo and this one is a lot more stylish shall we say with the more aggressive front bumper it really sets off the, the style of the car and the new modern looking daytime running lights but the most best thing of all is the new LED kick plates light up kick plates on a Micra that's crazy. So the boot size is also quite good. It has decent enough size, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of cluttered in here. But yeah, it has enough safe space. I don't actually have anything to put in it to demonstrate, but I'm sure it can carry a lot of things. I'm, it's not like I'm gonna go in and get in the car. Demonstrate? All right, let me demonstrate. It can fit me in it, let me see. Make sure you don't lock me in. A little help. I'm quite comfortable. All right. Hello. Have you just left me in there? All right, open it now. So now that we've seen what it looks like from the outside, let's jump in on the inside and see what the interior looks like. And um, considering the size of the vehicle, it's not the biggest thing in the world, it's actually a small hatchback. It's pretty, it's decent, it's got enough space in the back. How are you in the back? I'm good. There's enough space in the back. I'm about five, six, five, seven. And even with my seat all the way back, I think there's still enough space in there, even I can, I can still fit in the back as well. So there's plenty of space in the back, it's got nice cubby bins on the side. Also has nice boot room in there, as you can see I, I, I did fit in there, so not really much problem with that. So talking about the interior design, they have done an amazing job at spursing up the place. I really like the soft squishy material that they've put in here, the nice flat bottom leather steering wheel it feels beautiful in the hand and it just looks nothing like what a micro should look like it's it's really nice in there it's a nice place to be all the controls are easy to use all in the steering wheel so you don't have to you know go around any of here and look for anything you need while driving is quite dangerous it's all here it's really nice in here this is the top of the range Tecna model it features a very nice and smooth 0.9 liter turbo petrol engine it comes with some really nice gear such as the 17 inch alloys, a flat bottom steering wheel, lane departure warning, ambient lighting, 360 degree rear view camera, sat nav, heated seats and a really nice Bose sound system. And when I talk about the Bose sound system, it is fantastic. You don't believe me? Have a look at this. Well, that was really weird, but I told you, the sound system is really, really good. Well, most of you guys are probably thinking what this car is like to drive. Well, the answer is, it's really lovely. It drives nothing like any of the older generation Micras. It's a cracking little car to drive. The gearbox is nice and smooth. The steering is light, it's easy to drive. It really is, it's so modern and it's, it's really nice. One of the best thing about this car is the engine, with it producing 90 brake horsepower and 103 foot pounds of torque. It's definitely not the fastest thing in the world, but it is very punchy. And you don't buy this car for performance reasons, you buy this car for that nice smooth drive and that stunning look. You know what guys, I'm genuinely impressed with the new Micro. It's a cracking little car to drive. Before I drove it, I thought it was a pathetic attempt at great styling but crappy engine performance. But having driven it, it's a very smooth, lovely, modern car. While it, not, 
while it may not be a revolutionary change, it definitely is the right step forward for Nissan. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Tell me what do you think in the comments below and what do you want to see me review next. Take care guys. Are you trying to get me? Are you trying to kill me? Are you okay? No. Okay? You just left me in there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Why would you leave me 